there. So you probably just finished watching um, Trapeze uh, Hot Wire album review. Um, if this is the first one you've seen, this is their fifth album. Um, this is the first one you've seen. I've done four more before this. Um, so what I'm going to do, like I'm going to do in the other video as well before this, one that I've done, the fourth studio album, I'm going to put down in the uh, description down below um, all the album reviews of this band that I've done. Um, so, um, so you can check those ones out. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Trapeze. Uh, going to finish off the album muse, I should say, with Trapeze, uh, Trapeze, their fifth, uh, studio album, Trapeze, um, which is quite funny because their debut album was called Trapeze, um, so they decided to have a, you know, their, another album called Trapeze, and it didn't make sense, um, I don't know, it's weird, uh, but, I would say, you know, not a great album. Um, so this album was released in 1975. Um, so this album here is a hard rock and blues rock album. Um, so uh, this album here, um, Glenn Hughes uh, played on this album. Um, the last album he did play on was their, um, would be their third studio album. And then um, he left, um, I think, in, you know, 73, 73 sometime, um, joined Deep Purple and played on their 19, you know, three albums after that, two albums in 74, Stormbringer. Um, he played that one uh, on that album, um, Burn, and... Um, Come Taste the Band, which I've done album reviews of Deep Purple, if you uh, want to check that out, from their In Rock album, that, that album, um, all the way to their 1975 album, if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so this one be, you know, kind of like his, ah, uh, I guess I would call it kind of like a little return to the band, I guess, returned, you know, um, so, um, like I said, it's a hard rock album, blues rock album. So the songs on the album includes Starbreaker, It's Alright, the 2 minute and 30 second song, Chances, the 2 minute and 45 second song, The Raid, the 2 minute and 40 second song, on the sunny side of the street. Um, and after that is Give Me Good Lovin', Monkey, I Need You, um, Soul Stealer, and Last is Nothing for Nothing. Um, so like I said, on this album here, um, Glenn Hughes is um, on vocals for Chances and Nothing for Nothing. So he sang lead vocals for two, um, two songs on this album compared to, you know, there's ten songs on the whole album. Um, compared to, uh, compared to the last album he was on, which would be the third album that I'd done, um, so that one there, um, we are the you are the music, we're just the band. Um, that album there, he sang pretty much you know, like lead vocals. You know what I mean? Now this album here, he only sang on uh, two songs um, on this album. Um, and that was it. But yeah, around this time, it did, they said it was in released in 1975. But I wasn't quite sure exactly. Is it exactly when in 1975, I'm not sure exactly what month, but um, yeah, because I know, you know, Deep Purple, we played with, you know, Deep, their last album until, you know, they broke up in 70, 1976, 75, 
like I say, Come Taste the Band was the last album he played with Deep Purple. Um, so this might have been after their last album until, you know, they had a hiatus and nine years later they reformed um, Deep, Deep Purple. Um, but yeah, this album, you know, would be like the last, I think, last album he played on, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but later on, like in 77 in that, uh, was when he, you know, pretty much started his solo career and had solo albums out and had, um, but, um, you know, like I said, um, great, great band. Go through the songs again, there's Starbreaker, It's All Right, the 2 minute and 30 second song, Chances, the 2 minute and 45 second song, The Raid, the two minute and forty second song on the sunny side of the street. Give me good love. Monkey. I need you. Soul stealer. And last is nothing for nothing. So uh, make sure to check out Trapeze debut album review. Trapeze Medusa album review. Trekkies, You Are the Music, We're Just the Band album view. Um, and last, uh, Trapeze, Hotwire album review, all on my channel. So this is the last one I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, check them out. They're a great, great, great band. If you're into that kind of bluesy rock, hard rock style, of, you know, if you like that kind of music, um, definitely, definitely for sure, uh, check these guys out, though, and they're great, um, like I said, they, they had, uh, um, two more, I would, I think, after, the, I don't have those albums, um, I only have five albums of them, of theirs, so that's why I'm gonna do all the way up until this album here, um, so check out other album used by Nazareth, Boston, Bob Seeger, um, did so many of uh, Chicago, if you're into that band, um, Lighthouse, um, April Wine, Alice Cooper, White Snake, I've done album reviews of that, Deep Purple, Uriah Heep, UFO, Kansas, David Bowie, man, the list goes on and on. Also, make sure to check out um, Essential Classic Rock Vinyl Records, where I show my record collection as well as music. DVD collection as well, and um, if you're into wrestling, I've done um, uh, wrestling uh, movie reviews. If you're into the, if you're into wrestling, I've done that. So check that out. So make sure to hit a thumbs up. And all you people that did subscribe, thank you very much. And, uh, hope you really enjoyed the um, album reviews um, from the first album until the last. So this is the first one you've seen so far, and you really enjoyed it. I did uh, four more before this, so check those ones out and thank you very much for watching and uh, bye.